is quite nice and pretty anyway, isn't it? That looks like an organised system of almost like crofts and toffs, a building and a yard behind it. Typical sort of thing you get in a medieval town or village. This is a road to Carhampton coming down here. This is one of the main roads into Dunster. Cross, you've got to cross over the river somewhere and that, this is the only crossing that we know about. So in effect this is the main road which then starts begging the questions with the development, which came first? Here, where we are now, the part by the church, or the That's north? It, yeah. Dunster, yes. Dunster is very much a, a place of three, three big, apart from the castle and the Benedictine Priory, it's got three big settlement units, hasn't it? And they're all, they're all very different in character and I think it would be really nice to be able to do some work around here. I think Dan is going to look in some of the gardens around here to see if we can get any handle on whether this is something that's added later after the town mm -hmm. started to, to grow as a borough or whether some of these are actually here beforehand. Let's go and have a, a wander and look at this bridge. There are all the ingredients here in the early period for Riverside Landing. Not necessarily very deep draft vessels, but I would expect that you would actually be able to get river access from the, you know, from the coast right up to somewhere close to the castle in that period. It's at this bridge, at this ford, where this road leads into Dunster. So again, in, from the Saxon period through the medieval period, this would have been the main road in from the south and you'd expect development along the roadside uh -huh. at all periods. The real sort of history of Dunster is more encapsulated in this little windy road up around the base of the castle and then that dog leg where you get to the church. Suddenly, you know, you're sprouting yeah. off into, into the new Dunster, as it were, in the, in the 12th century. That's the feel of the whole series of units which seem to fossilise different components of development through time.